So, you know, on on my analytics, I got a, you know I got some client websites, I got some of my sites. So I can go and say, okay, see how I'm getting cleaner? Is that 521 visits in the last month? And you go in and you say, holy crap, look at all this. We got all these. Well, we just put the new website up. We set links on Facebook. And you can do some really awesome things like, here are the keywords that are getting people to your site. So 35 people have to see how good cleaner in Google and then got to her site, Green Cleaning Company. You know, you've got 100, 100 distinct keywords that are here. And it shows everything. You see what. What What's browsers are? What? What's the number one thing there? It says not set. Go back down. That page. is AdWords. Very good question. <laughs> so this is the AdWords. This is where I showed the top on the side of Google Search. People clicking on that is coming through that because I was too lazy to set it up. <laughs> and I don't get paid. My wife doesn't pay me. <laughs> <laughs> not a cent. So um, you know, I mean, you know, we, we put this list down to a hundred. I mean, tons of different things. Prices for residential greenhouse cleaning, and it'll show how often they leave that site. So, 28% uh, of the time when they type in Seattle Green Cleaner and come to my wife's site, they leave immediately. This tells you that the bounce rate. If there, I mean, this is any website in the world needs Google Analytics. There are some awesome map stuff. Oh look, 339 minutes <laughs> from Washington. That's good. That's good. Not so good. California, we're not going to be cleaning your house in California anytime soon. So you can really see, you know, people in Australia coming to your site, you're like, great, but maybe not. If you're a web developer, you want anybody. You should get a lot from India checking out the competition and whatnot. <laughs> but yeah, Google Analytics, super easy to set up. It's all free. Any site needs to have it. Great. Other questions? Um, <clears throat> so how long have you worked for your current company? 16 months. It's easy to tell because I got married right before I got shot in the dog. So 16 months. Um, and how come you guys, how come this company, well, how long has the company been around? 1991. That's pretty good. How come they chose, uh, what you call called, I am, it was a small, I how come they chose it instead it was a small market? Was it just well, what everybody knew at the company at the time? Back in the day, I mean, it was, you know, so even before the web, I mean, as, as we know it, in 91, it was just a client server app that just ran on there. They chose IMIS because it was like back then it was awesome. You know, it's '91. I mean, you know, whatever. So it, it, was just a client, it, was, it was a client server app. You know, that they would let them do all this stuff. And really, TSC makes all of its money customizing the base IMIS package. Because nothing out of the box is going to do everything you need. You know, you think, oh, we're going to install this great software. To, no, you're going to customize the hell out of it. And that's just the way it is. Because no, you can't accommodate for all business rules of all your clients. Um, you talk about companies you know, wanting you to work 60 hours, 70 hours. Sure. Week. What's your company like? 40. <laughs> well, actually, you know, for, I, I, I don't work more than 40. I, I got two side jobs. I got too much going on. But there was a dude, my, my friend Mac, who worked 70 hours a week, happily. That just is his, his temperament. You know, I'm a little bit older, you know, I just, you know, whatever. But uh, there's, there's only two right now uh, middleware back end, middleware coders, two SQL people, and we outsource our design and HTML, or at least I try to get them to do it instead of having me or Moss do it, because we just, we suck. <laughs> you might as well ask me to do your plumbing than do some design. Great. So the uh, uh, SEO, search engine optimization, is really a big thing. I mean, as far as right now, because you don't see people looking for people that do that, but if we learn it, and add that to our resume, that's going Huge. to be a good thing, right? Huge. Okay. And then you know, the other thing is, um, you know, you learned a lot of things about what sucks, what doesn't suck, in your opinion. I mean, what do you really like about web development or whatever? Uh, just the, the process? Yeah, I mean. I really love client work. I really love talking to a client, figuring out their business needs, writing up a scope document, turn it into a work order, talk to them. I mean, I, I do a lot of coding, but I mean, I do a lot of spec work and meeting with clients and. Yeah, and that's not how I envisioned it. You know, my dad was a programmer for 30 years. He was one of those basement programmers who never saw the light of day. And you find that, but having the ability to, to, to really interact with clients and your project managers and being able to write intelligent spec documents and you know, it's all fly by night. I mean, I, I learned all this stuff just being forced to basically have to do this kind of stuff. But I really enjoy that part of it. I mean, I still can be a coder for a long time, but I had a, I had a mentor. Uh, in New York, 